Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Vinny Langdon, and I am here in downtown Vacaville, California, and I brought this lovely lady over here to Hello. town just to do an interview with her. So what's up? What's up, Vinny? Go ahead, introduce everybody. <laughs> introduce yourself to everybody out there. First, I want to thank you for letting me be part, be a part of your show. And uh, we met at San Jose Improv, so we yeah. go way back, like six months. <laughs> like six months. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, my name is PX. I'm from San Jose. Uh, I started doing comedy about three years, and it's like a drug. So I can't stop doing it, and I'm hoping one yeah. day I'll sell that show. I think you and I should be in the Dr. Drew's Celebrity Rehab for, you know, you can be addicted to comedy. I'll All be right. addicted to filmography <laughs> and video production. We should. And then hey. we should really do drugs so we could really get in there. <laughs> yeah, that's not. <laughs> so anyways, so tell me a little bit about your background. I mean, you didn't start, you know, years and years ago. You started three years ago. Right. And did you go to an open mic session and say, I'll do it? I watched comedy. I fell in love with it, watching stand-up comedy. And then... Um, I saw a therapist because I thought, you know, I was having marital problems to think I was crazy only to find out me and my ex were crazy. And um, he was, I, I never really felt like I fit in anywhere. And then I saw a sign walking out of one of my cousin's show who also does comedy. And it said comedy college. There's a comedy college? What? Tell us a little more about that. Clowns and wizards and witches. Um, no, there isn't any of those. I wish there was, though. That's kind of deceiving, right? <laughs> um, but uh, uh, it's pretty much a teacher who's teaching all these people who want to do com comedy. And uh, they give you time. And then you end up doing performances at the Purple Onion, which is used to be, well, it is still in San Francisco, but it used to be in a different spot than where it's at now. Um, and uh, it's a great way to kind of get out of your shell, you know? Yeah. They have a free class still at SFCC Comedy College, which is really cool. Um, but uh, I don't go to San Francisco. I'm like, San Jose, except today. <laughs> Up here in Vacaville. <laughs> there you go. Hey, watch out with those signs. Watch out. <laughs> oh, my God, this is a drive-by. <laughs> hey, nah, you're safe. You're safe with the Vinnie Langdon show. So uh, now... Uh, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people, especially at family events. I know my family events where, you know, there, there's a lot of funny people in families. And you might think they're pretty funny. But if they got up on a stage and they did a stand-up comedy routine, it probably won't go the same. Or they're, the people are going to be like, they're not really that funny. They might be funny to your brother and sister or whatever. But it, is it a whole totally different atmosphere, you think? Like for myself or for other, if I, for you and for myself, maybe others. For myself, I do. Like not my family members usually go to my shows, so um, it's kind of biased. Probably like, a good thing. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, definitely a good thing. Um, but I think for other people, I think if they think they're funny, I think I should always encourage people to go up there and do comedy. And if they're not funny, then um, that's too bad. This is not a full-time gig for right, you. Right, right. You do I, comedy yeah. when you can in your free time. Basically. Right. I'm a mother, so I have two kids. I have a day job. Um, I actually w work in the banking industry, which is kind of weird because I suck at math, um, even though I'm Asian. Um, but uh, And then in my spare time, I'm either with my kids or I'm doing comedy. Yeah. So. And, you know, you've been able, fortunate to, you know, go to places like New York and Texas and, you know, go, hey, there's an open mic session. I'm going to go crash the party. And you've been successful with that, huh? Yes. Uh, I've been, I went to Texas. Uh, my cousin came from Australia. She's like, hey, we're going to New York. I'm paying for your ticket and your hotel. And I was like, what? Mom, watch the kids. <laughs> and uh, I did an open mic in front of 20 comics. And it's the most nerve-wracking thing because you're doing it in front of comics right you know they're judging you versus like if it's your friends or family members or people you don't know you that it's like oh they don't know you oh who cares but i mean it's just the toughest i thought it was gonna be a tough crowd but they actually ended up liking me That's so cool. yeah so would you like to do that in the near future so people out there that are you know yeah. booking agents out there that are looking for you know they own a venue and they're looking for comics to come through town you know i think there you go hit me yes. up yeah hit me up we i mob deep <laughs> like <laughs> I have a posse, so I would love to uh, check out your venue, even your party. I've done um, a 50th birthday party before. That was pretty exciting. That is exciting. There was a doctor comic in the house. I was like, what? <laughs> he was a podiatrist. Yeah. I don't know what that is. So, okay. yeah. so for the future, I mean, where do you see yourself as a comic? Do you want to go on world tours? Do you want to be on you know, Comedy Central? you want to have you know, the PX World Tour? 
you want to tour with other comics that you've worked with in the past or what? I would want to do a world tour. I would love, it would be a dream to have my own show uh, on TV on the hottest, you know, hour, prime time. It'd be amazing to host a late show. Well, PX, if, you know, you have a YouTube channel, you're on Facebook, you're all over the internet, and people can just Facebook you and hit you up. Yes, find me on Facebook.com slash StandUpPX. And then uh, Queen PX Tube on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram. PX is my name. There we go. Follow her and be her friend. And if you guys really want to book her for an upcoming event, she's the lady to do it. Vinny Langdon told you and, so. And the best host and producer and director, this guy right here. Yeah. Hair. It's a two for one special. I right think now. I think PX and I should just have our own late night show <laughs> tonight on the late night show. It's Look PX and Vinny. Hey. Squirrels. Squirrels and. Uh, what can we say? We're nuts. That's why. <laughs> All right. Anyways, PX Vinny Langdon. We'll see you guys next time on the Vinny Langdon Show. Hope you enjoyed this exclusive at VinnyLangdonShow.com. And once again, PX on Facebook. Where? Facebook.com slash standup PX.